God bless you. We talk and talk and talk about this challenge in our country, but nothing seems to change. There is no power greater than death. Corruption is a stronger force, but it's not stronger than death. And Jesus has defeated death. More than that, he has risen to empower us to defeat the demon of corruption. If we really feared this God who rose from the dead to empower us, we would not steal things that do not belong to us. We would not demand bribes, nor offer bribes. We would not take iron sheets we know we are, in, we are not intended for, we are intended for other people. We would not steal things from people who have even less than us. The challenge of sexual immorality. I want to, to repent and listen to this. I have paraphrased this challenge very deliberately as the challenge of sexual immorality. Because it's not only homosexuality that is challenging us, but also the heterosexual immorality is challenging us. Fornication, defilement, rape, and adultery are attacking our families, our souls, and our country. Homosexuality is currently a challenge because it is being forced on us by outside foreign actors against our will and against our culture and against our religious beliefs. They disguise themselves as human rights activists, but are corrupting real human rights by adding LGBTQI++ to their agenda. There have always been a few people in our communities who were known as homosexuals, and the communities knew how to relate with them. The fact is that very few of our local languages even have a word for homosexuality shows how it's not part of our cultures and our communities. Let us say that we need to give accountability